coming up on the free purview show the ufc returns to austin texas and there are some special finishes in this one and later one of the biggest stars in boxing makes his return to the ring all that and more now welcome back into the free purview show i'm your host noah latch the co-main event for ufc austin was headlined by two of the top 15 ranked lightweights Jalen Turner is taking the fight on 12 days notice after Bobby Green's original opponent, Dan Hooker, backed out. Turner enters on back-to-back -back split decision losses while Green is on a two-fight win streak. Jalen Turner catches Bobby Green right on the temple with a right hand in the first round, dropping Green before ending it with some brutal ground and pound strikes. Kerry Hatley with a little bit of a late stoppage here. Let's go back and take another look at it. Turner improves to 14 and seven on his career with 11 finishes in the first round. A lot of fans and fighters sharing they are unhappy with the referee's stoppage on X, formerly Twitter, after the fight. UFC president Dana White stated in the post-fight press conference, that was one of the worst stoppages I've ever seen. In the main event, Armand Sarukian got his first shot at a top five ranked opponent. Armand has won seven of his last eight fights and is facing off against Benil Darush. Darush is coming off a brutal knockout to former champion Charles Oliveira. Let's check out how this one went. Nat Full, please. Armand Sarukian with a first round knockout. Wow. Hid the right hand right behind the clinched knee to the head. Look at this. Boom. And then the right hand right after. Wow. Drop star Roosh. Just absolutely beautiful. First win against a top five, a five opponent in his first chance. He now approve, uh, improves his record in the UFC to 21 and 3. Sarukian knows what he thinks should be next. When they gave me that fight, I was thinking I got to knock him out in the first round and uh, call out Islam and get title fight. But if they're not going to give me title fight, yeah, we got to figure out. But to be honest, I train a lot in the best gym with the best fighters in the world. And uh, hopefully they're going to give me title fight and that's it. A look at the rankings with Arman officially breaking into the top five. His rematch with champion Islam Mahachev is there from a few years ago, but the champ is hunting a third title defense. No fight is currently scheduled between any of these fighters in the top five. Coming up after the break, Ryan Garcia back since his first professional loss and later the newest edition of Top Knockouts you won't want to miss. We'll be right back. Welcome back into the Free Preview Show. Influencer and star boxer Ryan Garcia's last fight was in April with a super fight with Geronte Davis. Then he suffered a knockout via body shot to result in his first career loss. Now Garcia takes on Oscar Duarte, for the vacant WBA super lightweight title. Garcia hadn't fought in eight months. Duarte coming in early off the start, but Garcia showing that hand speed off in the early rounds. Quick hooks and uppercuts to the second we jump. Quick hand speed. It was gonna be a long night from the beginning for Duarte. Garcia moving his feet, staying agile. 
the Warte chasing him a lot in this fight. Seventh round at this point, just moving into shots. That left hook there by Garcia. Let's jump to the eighth. Duarte still trying to walk him down. Garcia with some clean hooks, and he's got him on skates. Garcia looking for a finish here in the eighth round, and he drops Duarte. Just under 30 seconds in the round. Garcia's feeling it now, looking for his 21st knockout of his career, and that is it. Eighth round finish for Ryan Garcia. He improves to 24 and one on his professional career and is the WBA super lightweight champ. I went away from everybody. I didn't see nobody for four months straight just in Dallas in a little condo and I was just looking at the wall every day, just like praying to God, going to church and just staying as locked in as I can. So my emotions did come out because I finally, after a long time, gave everything I had to it. But you know, it's gonna just get better. All right, folks, it finally is that time. With the boxing event taking place in Houston and the UFC in Austin this past weekend, everything certainly was bigger and better, including the knockouts. Roll it. At number three for knockout of the week, Floyd Schofield with a left hook, catching Ricardo Lopez and dropping him in the first round for a first round knockout. Schofield is just 21 years old and improves to 16-0 with 12 knockouts. Number two on the list, Drew Carr close with a slam, knocking out his opponent, Joe Soliski. That's the first slam knockout since 2020 for the UFC. Take a look at this. Boom, right on the side of the head and just knocks him clean, cold out. Number two all day. Let's jump to number one. The very next fight at UFC Austin in Brundage with a slam of his own. Ground and pound and good night, Zachary Reese. Cody Brundage and Drew Carclose become the first people ever to get back-to-back -back slam knockouts. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Until next time for the Free Preview Show, I'm your host, Noah Latch. Good night.